Hey everybody, it's Angel here for another unboxing and today we have Sloth Puzzle. I must say I love my animals and nature so I am a sucker for uh, the animals and nature. I really love them. So yeah, we've got Sloth Puzzle. I hope everyone is safe and well. Uh, if you're new, hi, and if you are coming back, welcome back. Right, if you like what you see, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, I'm only a small channel, so I would be grateful for a follower, one or two, after this video. So that would be absolutely amazing and very grateful. Um... So let's get into it. This is Diamond Art Club and it is a round, as you can tell. The pink is uh, round and the blue ones are squared. So I'm just showing you the box. And all your instructions right here, what it contains. And more importantly, 10% off because Diamond Art does not want you to pay full price. Shall we get stuck in? Obviously, this will come with a plastic wrapper, but I always take them off before I unbox, so I don't know what's in here. So let's get stuck in. So we have a toolkit. And the canvas and yay it should be a little sticker which you can put on your log book or your stash kits you can some people do that or on the side or your log book um, I'm gonna build a collection on this table of each diamond painting I'm doing so yeah so there's your sticker. So this is my log book. So I won't be putting that sticker on there. But what I do is I put <clears throat> the big stickers in my log book like this. And I will show you. Right. Let's get into the canvas. not to rip the plastic bit off but sometimes it happens so I have these little bags and what I do is I put my little sticker into these bags where I will put my drills in this bag instead of putting it back in the plastic for example, your drills will come like this in the plastic wrap and I can't seem to get them back in. But you, if you're not doing unboxing videos like myself, you don't have to worry. You've got your sticker there and you can put them wherever you like, back into the canvas or the box or a little storage box. There's your big sticker. So, Slough Puzzle by Gina Jane. He's so beautiful. Look at those butterflies. And then you got your key code, uh, your symbols, your colour code. So, there you go. How many ABs? Well, if it's a under 150 usually you find them at the beginning we have two ab's so if it's a under 150 you have two in this picture and 49 colors so this this looks a little bit frayed but it doesn't bother me because i just sell a tape and put them in my book which i'm going to sh show you now so, for example, 
I put them in there. I did start peeling them one by one like this, but I noticed after a while they start to unpeel. So for this one that I'm working on, I've sellotaped it down. So I work with my book because um, when I put my washi tape over the border, it covers the key code. So I work from my book. So it's a lot easier. Now, some of you have asked how I kit up and I'm going to show you shortly. But uh, yeah, right. This comes with instructions. This is an old instruction book. But uh, it's got everything that you need, your thank yous, tips and tricks, how it works, and obviously your 10% off. Feel free to use that, just put thank you 10. And there you go, there's your instruction book. Right, so what I'm going to do, you don't need to do this. I just want to do it like really quick because it's poured glue you can roll it backwards so it won't damage it or anything so it's poured glue it is safe to do so I can see the sloth face <laughs> can you see him he's beautiful Obviously, my best bet is to move the camera. Let's bring you guys over here so you can see the full picture as much as I possibly can show you. Okay. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Look at the butterflies. Look at the is that a pellet, uh, toucan? A toucan. Blue butterflies. I love my butterflies. As you can tell, I've got tattoos of butterflies everywhere. So <laughs> there you go. Right, so these are your drills. Look at those colours. Someone told me to really um, take my time going through the drills with you. So this is what I'm going to do. Any feedback? I do appreciate um, if there's anything that I'm doing wrong on my unboxing, please feel free to tell me. I don't mind. Right, let's have a look at our toolkit. So these are the new toolkits. So um, they are coming out a lot more with the new paintings. The extras are the cover minders and washi tape, but I don't think there's a washi tape in this one. No, it's just the cover minder. So some will have a washi and cover minder, some of the new ones will have um, just the cover minder. So I'm gonna go through what you get. In your toolkit. Oh, there is washi tape in there. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so we have your diamond art pen with your squidgy, which you put on your pen like so, and it's green and it matches. So because it's so warm, my hands are really sweaty, but I got it on there. <laughs> so that just it's more comfortable to use so you come with it comes with a four and a seven multi-placer I love my fours so and another great tip is you can put one on the end of your pen your sil uh, single placer and your four and then you can take it off and put your seven on there if you wish to And then it comes with a tray or boat with the stopper. Oh, wrong way. There you go. This is the right way to put it up. Um, 
the little end part there push it down and it's so easy to take in and out like that and it's got sparkles we love the sparkles and then your wax which comes with two of them they don't want to come out so there's one and there's the other one but make sure you take both of the plastics that are protecting it on both sides like so you've got one at the top one at the bottom and it comes with this little case to stop it drying out so make sure you store them in there especially if you know you're having a heat wave like we are in the uk right now bag of baggies to put your spares in so well your spares or what you want to work with and then more importantly believe it or not it came with a cover minder and the washi tape is absolutely gorgeous wow stunning look at that if you're wondering what a washi tape is it's to put around the border to because there's like leftover glue at the edges so that stops all the dust and air getting stuck on the edges and to section your painting into squares so you can use that as well cover minder is this magnet you put that underneath your canvas peel back the plastic and pop it like so so that is a cover minder that washi tape absolutely gorgeous I'm very happy with that so I will put that there right shall we get stuck into the canvas so you have your key code on that side here do what makes you sparkle from Diamond Art Club and another one there but the cover minder will cover all that, so that's why I work from my book. Your guarantee. And... Oh, my feet are in the camera, I do apologise. Uh, you can follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, take 10, 10% 10, 10 off. There's your picture. Your size 76 by 56 by the artist diamond art club pays their artist because there's so much stolen artwork out there but diamond art wants you to um, know that everything is legally licensed look at that canvas Look at those sloths, they're so beautiful. I love it. So, as you can see, the symbols are nice and clear. This is the plastic. I'm going to do the glue test. Very sticky. Sorry about my nails. I've been a little bit anxious and I've been biting my nails it's not nice so can you see the overlap of the glue there so that's why it's a good idea to put washi tape so I'm just going through the symbols they are lovely and clear and the canvas has that kind of glittery effect I don't know if you can see it's so glittery so yeah, so I'm just going to show you a little bit of the detail on the faces, the butterflies, another toucan, another butterfly, the rendering is so nice. Another butterfly and this little 
chat relaxing chilling so i'm gonna have a look at the abs it looks like a purple and a white obviously so ones and twos are your abs and i can see some twos in the eyes and little bits in the bird's eyes some in the butterflies um same with the eyes if you can see a one and a two that's where your ab's will be going now i feel like this is going to be all over the place um there's a two right there so that a b is a white i presume and it's more of an eyeliner around the beaks, the eyes. Um, I think number one is bits of blues and purples. I think it looks like a blue. So just having a look. Another butterfly has an AB in there. But they are literally dotted around known as confetti areas so I could, there's some little color blocking but not a lot so this is very highly confetti but i don't care it's going to be a beauty to work on and hang in my art room because i just love nature it's so beautiful and we do take it for granted Okay, so it's done it. Shall we get to the drills? Okay, so I've set the drills in, onto the canvas. So, shall we go through the colours and the drills? Okay, first off is 498, like a red colour. 415 is a grey, 318 another shade of grey which is a darker to 415, 740 beautiful orange, 414 another darkish grey, 317 another grey there, and your first AB, which is the white one, which is 141, and that's the number two AB, which I showed you, the eye lights and the bird's eyes and some in the butterflies. Now your AB is different to your standard one. It's just got a lot of shimmer to it, if you can see. It is so pretty. Okay, next one is 3811, and this is like a turquoise blue. 333 three, three is a purple. 912, like a mint green. This is so pretty. 550 is my favourite shade of purple. 9 Four seven is a beautiful orange. Seven four four a creamy yellow. Thirty seven five five like a sky blue. Three two one like mm, a pastel red. Three three four darker shade of sky blue I would say. Oh. And nine four five, like a creamy coloured, I would say. More like um tone of skin kind of thing. Go in there. Okay, next is a three three six, really dark bluey purple. Six oh six, a ready orange kind of shade. 844, brownie grey I would say, 
742, yellowy, orangey. Oh, really lime. I would say that's lime. 3819. Another AB, which is number one, which is the blue. 136, which was on the butterf butterflies and some in the eyes of the sloths as well. So that's going to be pretty. 995, beautiful shade of blue. Oh, I like that one. 996, uh, 741, and 307. We have 820, another beautiful shade of purpley blue. 165, creamy yellow, I would say. 3856, I would say a, a creamy peach colour. Uh, 7846, another shade of blue, like a sky turquoise blue. Uh, 951, um, creamy pastel shades. There's so many different shades of colours. So I'm trying to compare it for you. 402, like, um, uh, it's like an orangey, peachy colour, isn't it? Forgive me. <laughs> okay. So we have 898, which is like a brown. So we've got two packs of those. 3776. Oh, a very dark green, which is 890. We have two bags of those. And 3371, which is a very dark brown, like a chocolate brown. 906, lovely greens. 895, we have two bags of those. And one bag of 310, which is your black. Okay, last strand of colour. 823, purpley blue, I would say. Uh, 939, same with that, but a bit darker. 905, another beautiful green. Two bags of 938. Brown. Oh, I love this colour. 907, 300. I've got one bag of 300. 301. 904 and lastly 400 you can tell this strand is for the plants <laughs> so there you have it that is sloth puzzle let me know what you think are you are you tempted to buy it have you already completed it are you working on it oh please let me know in the comments i would love that so yeah, um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, um, feel free to share my YouTube uh, videos, um, so I will see you in the next video, stay safe, stay amazing guys, happy diamond painting, till next time, bye!